The Jobaria Defense System Multiple Cradle Launcher, also called Janaham Launcher, is an Emirati-made multiple rocket launcher unique to the United Arab Emirates Army. It has 240 tubes, which makes it the world's largest rocket artillery by tube count. It's thought to function as a combined form of BM-21 Grad Multiple Rocket Launcher. It's developed by a joint venture between Al Jaber Land System and RocketSan. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes Jobaria Defense Systems Multiple Cradle Launcher. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The first self-propelled multiple rocket launchers, and arguably the most famous, were the Soviet BM-13 Katyusha, first used during World War II and exported to Soviet allies afterwards. Multiple launch rocket system since then has been part of most modern armies. The United Arab Emirates Army internal evaluation identified the need for a mobile rocket artillery battery similar to BM-21 Grad. In general, each of these requires a team of three personnel to operate. But since the United Arab Emirates has limited manpower, they wanted something that possessed more firepower but require limited manpower to operate. This need gave birth to the concept of multiple cradle launcher. The idea was to develop a simple but effective short-range system that could pulverize a significant area. The idea was to develop a simple but effective short-range system that could pulverize a significant area. The design consists of four rocket launcher systems mounted on a 10 wheels trailer. Each launcher has three blocks with 20 rockets each. So each launcher has 60 rockets and the system as a whole possesses 60 times 4 equals 240 rockets. Each rocket launcher system is mounted on an individual platform that can rotate on the left or the right side. The operator can select firing a single pod, several pods together or fire the full load of 240 rockets in less than two minutes. The JDS MCL can cover an area of 4 square kilometers or 1.54 square miles. The rockets are 122 millimeter ones developed by the Turkish company Rocketsan. The ammunition is supplied by the company Burkan Munition Systems based in UAE. They have a range of 16 kilometers or 10 miles to 40 kilometers or around 25 miles. The rocket systems trailer is towed by an Oshkosh Defense 6x6 Heavy Equipment Transport HET truck. The HET is motorized with a Caterpillar C18 engine, which is an 18.1 liter 6 cylinder inline turbocharged and after cooled diesel power unit that can produce 700 horsepower and 2,576 Newton meters torque at 1300 rpm. The vehicle provides enough power for the whole assembly to reach a speed of 80 km per hour on tarmac surfaces and 38 km per hour on a 2.5 percent gradient. The Oshkosh HET truck is fitted with an armored cabin designed and manufactured in the UAE which provides protection up to level 2 Stanag 4569. The entire system is operated by a crew of three – commander, navigator and driver and can be operated from inside the vehicle in an autonomous mode or integrated into an overall higher-level artillery fire control system. A normal multiple launcher rocket system can create a lot of havoc against a rival. They can be used both in offensive as well as defensive role, 
These are especially effective against infantry. Jabaria Defense System's multiple cradle launcher is unique as it possesses huge capacity. A single system deployed in a tactically suitable location will provide a battlefield commander a lot of flexibility. The only downside is that a system like these could be vulnerable to targeted enemy attacks as it has a large footprint. It's to be noted that if the heavy equipment transport HET, truck is disabled, the whole system will be a sitting duck, easy to pick off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.